All right. Now it's time to discuss about input data using forms on Visual Force page. So we will learn how to edit and save data back into Salesforce. Before we just learn how to display data, now we are going to start creating forms so that you can create your own visual force page to actually update data the way you like it. Okay, let's go pop up our trailhead playground over here. And developer. And let's start creating a basic form. So we will learn about using Apex form. So whenever you want to update or edit data, it has to be within the Apex form tag. Okay, remember that. And then we have Apex input field, which will display the input field for you to save. And we also going to use the apex command button which is the button we will use that will perform the save function with save action okay without further ado we will copy this and start developing that page so now if i hit on the gear icon and developer console Let's make a new page. What would we want to name the new page again on here? Um, account edit here. Okay, account edit. I'm going to type that out. So file, new, visual force page. Um, account edit. And I'm going to paste what I just copied and save. Hmm. That's weird. Let me relaunch my developer console. Do I have another one? No, just one. All right. Sometimes a glitch like that happens. You just have to relaunch your developer console. I hope Salesforce doesn't have any issues this morning. Um, file, new, Visual Force page, account, edit, and hit OK. OK, now it's saying it's already there, so I'm going to open um, or open resource actually. What? Can't edit. Okay, that's weird, right? I'm going to paste that and save again. Close the other ones here. So, it's a bit slow. Oh, it's safe. So, we will have this page the standard controller will be account or the engine of this page and then uh, heading text edit account and then we have a form here opening and closing it has it it's always has to be closed all right and then this is the closing part for this part here um, apex input field the account object and in the field name, name, just one field. So let's see how this one looks like. If you hit preview there, it's going to be looking like that. So let's pass the ID of an existing account. If I click there, our favorite Burlington textiles. Copy the ID there from the URL, remember? So if I go back here and I pass and ID equals that one, there you go. Now if I change this to something else, 
Bada Burlington, Texas and I hit save and if I refresh this refresh this it's gonna be Bada Burlington, Texas Corp of America see so now I lose my okay so that's basically what it's doing it's pretty simple it's displaying the account name field without formatting without style styling it looks pretty ugly but it's what it's doing when you hit the save it triggers a an action which is the save action from the standard controller right it's basically saving the record and whatever changes you made here will be saved all right okay let's move on next next we will add a styling so it will look better let's just copy this and discuss about it boom save basically it's doing the same thing with a page block now and page block section so page block section um, the account name and then that's it and then the save button page block button so if you see here and I refresh this guy that looks like that and ID equals this so it looks better right we have page block button right and then we have page block section the name and the field so this section and this section this is the account name this is the buttons so it's going to be shown on the top and the bottom of the page block right you see the top and the bottom of the page block there is the button there so let's move on so basically it's just doing the styling of it now we will add some more field probably so below below the account name field add three more fields so that your markup looks like this basically we want to add another um, three fields there so if i flip back here and i just copy it here and just paste there and tidy up oops i'm gonna command a shift tab and save now if I refer back to here and put the ID back and ID equals that there you can also change this when you save it so if if you see Bada Burlington text text tiles the industry right now is banking right I'm gonna change that to and it has 350 million revenue revenue let's change this to actually it's a textile right mm, let's choose manufacturing and then I'm going to change this to 750 million dollars and save it goes like that so I want to refresh this guy because it takes a few seconds to show up now it's manufacturing and it's 750 million dollars so it's actually working now i'm going to go back here okay now we have um, a few fields so you can display any fields you want to display like ticker symbol ownership employees you can display any field on your own visual force page right so basically you can create however you want to create for the purpose of making work efficient and productive for everybody in your organization now let's move on next uh, oh this is interesting display form errors and messages right so under the page block at the following tagline so it will show this error if there is an error so if we flip back here um, under the page block here under the main page block I'm gonna add apex page messages and save that guy now if I flip back to my 
um, example here and even put a new one uh, this and I want to save but this is red it means this is required it has to be filled in and cannot be blank if we leave it blank, blank and save it there account name you must enter a value this is the page messages okay so let's move on and then oh we can also display related records okay so below the existing closing a page block at the following markup so it's basically listing the related contacts so below here under the page block i paste there and i command a shift tab and then let's see what's going on another page block we are creating another page block with the title contacts and then remember from the last video we do apex page block table table here page block table the value is the contacts with an s contacts is plural so the related list of the account so you you use value is as a parameter account dot contacts the related list object and you name the variable contact or whatever you want to name it you can name it con if you name it con and then you have to change this to con it's a variable okay so you can name it whatever you want to name your variable so if i name that con that will work because i see the variable to loop is con uh, what oh here con con save so this is the variable and then you have a column here you know a column on a table right the column is the column like that I, i'll tell you on the uh, example there so it, it will show um, an edit link url for action dot object is contact the edit button uh, and then what is the value the id of the con of the variable the contact id that's how you format it or co you, how you construct it this is an output link same thing output link for deleting the related record and then you also display the name of the contact the title of the contact and the phone of the contact let's see how this look like if i go back here see we have a related list there and i hit end there now we have jack rogers and james bond pretty cool right contacts and then it's doing that and it, it has some button right so we can do a whole bunch of things this is just touching the surface here for visual force you can do a lot of things tell me more of course so if you google like on the previous videos i keep telling you if you google visual force reference guide there and then you go here to the reference for the tags you see a lot of tags so the input for you to um, update a record there's a lot of options not just an input field here you have input <clears throat> you have input checkbox input field which we use input file input hidden which is a hidden field input secret input text text area right that's the type of input you can put on your visual force page and then you also have um, select here apex select checkboxes select list select option select options select radio so you have to explore um, each particular tag and what it does and the example you can see there right you can even try it out and it's out of the scope of this trailhead but at the end of our developer trails i will create with you together a real life example of a real application which we use uh, all kinds of visual force 
functions and tags and cool stuff going on and you can actually use it and eventually we want to list that kind of apps on the app exchange so you can deploy your own app exchange apps and then distribute it and then i'll show you how to manage your distributed app exchange apps roll out updates and and so on and so on so you'll you'll be a full-blown developer all right that's all so um please do if if i'm doing a video you are still you know recommended or encouraged to go through the text on your own as well so the video are helping so you can get the big picture so when you read it because you have seen it you will understand it much faster but i do encourage you to also read the text here all right so next i'm going to do the hands-on challenge which will be separated on a separate video i'll see you on the next video boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom